Hey guys, welcome back to Fast Monty's Garage. Today we're going to play with a DEI titanium exhaust wrap. And what that does is it helps keep heat inside your headers. The more heat you keep inside your headers, the faster you can get rid of those exhaust gases. Now, last episode, if you missed it, we were finishing up putting the Tremec, inst the Tremec install. Next step is got to put the headers in. Well, I was in the process of putting in filming the header install and I realized, man, my headers on my driver's side are really close to my brake lines. So I had this great idea, why not try this titanium wrap to keep the temperature down just in that section. I'm not doing the whole header um, because my headers are ceramic coated and the ceramic coating also helps to keep temperatures down and inside the header. So I don't need to do a full wrap. Now, those of you that have either plain headers or just want to wrap your headers, this will help you out because I've never done this before. So you can learn from my mistakes. And I want to just keep this little mini segment separate from the header install. So the next video will be the header install. So let's get started. I've also decided to wrap this area with some DEI wrap. It's this stuff right here. And I've never used it before, so this will be a fun experiment. Good news is it actually cuts pretty easily with standard scissors. And after I cut it, I just put some masking tape on it so it wouldn't fray too much. And the way I measured how much I needed is I actually put it around the pipe like that and then that's about the length I needed so you make a little fold and you pretend you're putting it down so you do a quarter inch overlap so one two three four five and then you measure five lengths and you can cut your length so we are going to start uh, probably start at the bottom And before I forget, I should put gloves on just in case this gets fibrous. Hey guys, so sorry I jumped ahead of you. I absolutely lost my mind trying to put this wrap on. Huge learning curve. Destroyed one of the, one of the brackets. Um, learned a lot, let's say. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one and I'm going to show you what I learned. Besides this looking so pretty, I almost got carried away and want to do the whole header, but maybe next project. And then match the paint to that, because that I think that looks spectacular. Okay, so here's what I learned. Before you cut, before you cut an end, tape it. So because as soon as you cut it, it starts to unravel like crazy. Like that. That crazy. Isn't that a freaking mess? That's what I went through on this one. Okay, so I measured my five lengths like we did last time. Here's my roll and my five loops. Basically, I'm going to cut it in this region. So I'm going to tape it first. So wrap the tape all the way around. Make sure it's nice and stuck. I'm also going to tape this in because just to store this roll. And it might, you know, now that I think about it, it might work just as easy just to cut through the tape. Why don't we try that? Let's see. I'll do this one just for added, added length. Oh, that is awesome. See, we just we just figured something out. Nice. Okay, the other thing I learned on this side is the end kind of looks ugly. So I made it so we started at the top because we'd be looking down if you can see it. I don't even know if you can see this in the car or not. But if you're looking down, you can see it from here. So I'm going to go ahead and start up here. 
and work my way down. Now as you start rolling, uh, I'll walk you through it. So the, the other thing is instead of taking the tape off, it's going to promote spreading. I'm going to cut it right now. Alright guys, I forgot my gloves. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right now and immediately start um, playing with it. See how it comes apart so fast? That's a little annoying. So I'm going to fold it 45 degrees. And just start wrapping from there. See, so now our ugliness is going to get covered with the wrap. I'm going to take a piece of tape just to hold it down. And we'll get to wrapping. Okay, so right there as far as I can get because the pipes are too close to each other. So from right here, you can actually take the whole area and make it tighter. I'm going to leave myself some extra and I'm going to cut it and we fold both corners down and then wrap it underneath and I'll put some tape on it to hold it in place while we get our strap ready. So I'm putting some really light, really light, sorry guys. I'm putting some really light tension on it just to make sure it's even across the whole braid. And start cutting. Okay, I fold it like that, make a point, fold it underneath. So now we want to put the metal strap on. So it basically goes, it's like a zip tie, it goes in like this. Problem is, once you get it in there, it's not going to come out. <laughs> Alright, snug it up, and I bend it up a little bit, and what I found that works the best is actually my needle nose pliers. So I took my pliers, when I put them in, I rolled it so the pliers are actually going underneath, and that pulled it nice and tight. Get your tin snips, cut off the extra, push it down, there we go, I'm going to put another strap here because this is kind of floppy, so I'll have two straps and I'll put another strap up here, there we go, so I Double strap the bottoms, tops are pretty tight, so we are ready to install back in the car. Let's get to it. All right guys, there you have it. That was quite the learning experience on my part, so I hope you guys uh, learned something, learned some tricks on how to wrap your headers. Um, obviously I didn't do the full header, um, it's not that much more difficult. Uh, there's a couple good videos on DEI's website to go over that. So uh, that might help. And the next step here is to get the headers installed. So those of you with long tube headers, you're going to want to see it because I made some 
pretty big changes to my headers to make sure they work. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you got to do it. Follow along. And you guys know the drill. Build them fast. Drive them faster. See it. Ah!